In the last video, we talked about linking all of our jQuery mobile and jQuery files in order to use jQuery mobile inside of our content. Now, the best way to preview this is by double clicking on the index.html, and then you see the outcome. You'll see what the jQuery mobile file looks like so far. Now, you may want to resize your browser so you can get more of an idea of how it's going to look like on a phone or even resize it to where you think a tablet would work. However, the best way to really test on a phone is to use an actual device or use the iOS simulator or Android emulator if you have that installed on your machine. If you're on a Mac, you can download the uh, Xcode application for free and you can use the iOS simulator to test out some of your applications. The way that you do that is by bringing up the iOS simulator just tap on Safari and then you can drag and drop in your index.html file and um, test it out here. However, one thing you'll notice when you're testing on a mobile device, on the Safari application, it works and it looks fine on Chrome and everything like that. However, when you take this and you place it inside of a phone, one thing, we have one issue that we're running into. The content is really small. That's because we're missing a line of code. Let's go ahead and take a look at what that code is. So the issue is the on any mobile application, your application looks extremely small and is really hard to read and really hard to tap on. Well, by adding one line of code, which is a meta tag, as you see on the screen here, this will actually take the content and it will adapt it so it looks perfectly and it adapts automatically to any phone or device. That way it becomes responsive and uh, it's just a simple line of code. Once you have that line of code in your application, then you're ready to go. So let's go ahead and we're going to copy this code and we're going to paste it right inside of our HTML. Now I'm going to paste this code right behind the other meta tag that we see here. Copy and paste it and save that. Now if I come into my HTML file, let's just bring up the um, iOS application, the iOS um, simulator here, and I'm going to drag and drop the index.html, and you can see it's the same HTML file, we didn't change any of the content, but now it looks a whole lot better. So you have to make sure that you have this one line of code, this meta tag, name, viewport, content, width equals device minus width, and then initials dash scale equals one. Once you have that, your application for jQuery mobile um, will be automatically adaptable, responsive, and everything like that. So that's how you add that meta tag into your code so your code is working fine on your mobile devices.